What's up guys and welcome back to Mark's Small Tribe. So today we're going to be going around and trying to tame ourselves a griffin as well as possibly doing some raiding. I brought myself some C4, some rocket launchers, and a whole bunch of stuff to tame so it shouldn't be that hard to raid if we do find somebody that we want to raid. I don't have a trike on me so I guess that's some bad foresight but we'll go back and get one if we find something worth it. So the reason I want to get a griffin is actually just because they're such great mounts. They can pick people, they're really fast, and they're also really good for scouting because you can stand on top of their back. Um, they're pretty good for raiding as well just because of that fact because then you can grapple off their back or anything like that. But I want to get a really high level one mainly for PvP reasons. So let's see what we can find and if we can actually find any good ones. Ah, well here's our first griffin. What level are you? Alright, this one's only a level 25. That's not really worth us taming. Always make sure you kill the random wild tames that aren't a high enough level, by the way. That way you can make room for other ones. Because there's only like X amount of each type of dino that can spawn on the map, I believe. So, I don't really want a level 25 griffin getting in my way. Hey, candidate number 2, what level are you? Level 140, that is freaking perfect actually let's get that one okay so i actually did bring stuff to make myself a griffin trap i brought two really that was quite rude of you i brought two metal dinosaur gateways and a dinosaur gate which you don't need metal by the way like stone works just fine you can even use wood if you wanted i just used metal because i didn't want to farm any stone and i have plenty of metal all right i've got the griffin chasing me but i didn't really want it to yet i'm gonna make the trap right here i think that's a pretty good spot to do it so let's place the first one down excuse me griffin could you move do you mind all right well i'm just gonna let it sit there attacking my mana while i finish this trap up all right i'd say right about there that should be good it might might be a little bit small. Let's give that a go. Get a gate on there and open that sucker up. All right, now let's just get it to stop attacking my mana for a second. There we go. Yeah, chase me down. Come on, buddy. Right in the trap. Oh, I got you on the side. No, no, no. Right in the trap. There you go. Perfect. All right, so just so you all know, I will be unlocking this trap for anybody who wants to use it. Uh, I think this is server 19. Yeah, this is server 19. So anybody who wants to come find it, you're more than welcome to. But let's start knocking this puppy out. Also, somebody left a comment saying they love it when I say puppy to like dodo birds and stuff. But I actually say puppy to everything pretty much. So um, yeah, so dodo decks actually tells me that this should take 68 trank darts. I don't have that many on me, but I have some arrows on me with a pretty good crossbow. So I'll just use that after I am done with these darts. I know a lot of you have been complaining that I actually use dodo decks because you say how like inaccurate it is, but it's just so much easier for me than like smart breeder. So let me know in the comments below if the stats on this griffin are good or bad. I mean, I'm taking it either way, so... Alright, well, I'm now out of Trank Darts, I guess it's time to not use the bullets. It's time to start using Trank Arrows, woo! Higher risk of death. I just realized that it would have been so much more cheaper for me to just use this crossbow the entire time because Dododex says it would take me about 33 shots or so with this crossbow and I just wasted like 37 trank darts or something like that. So whoops, waste of time. And it is down. Sweet. Let's check what its stats are. All right. So overall, it doesn't look too amazing. The weight seems all right. I can't really tell if griffins normally have pretty high weight or not. The stamina doesn't seem too amazing. It's not bad by any means because griffins actually don't use that much stam. And the health actually seems kind of decent. I'm not sure what's good on griffins at all by like any means. So let me know in the comments below if this is good or not. Dodo Dex says it's pretty average across the board. I know the melee damage looks really low to me but maybe i'm wrong there so let's go try and get this some mutton before it wakes up i'm going to feed it a couple narcotic just in case okay so we're in the highlands now and i actually found this trap that's unlocked and i was like oh man it's unlocked maybe we can go ahead and knock out a wyvern and get some milk but nah look at this other side this other side just has no door in it at all what the heck somebody just decided hey i'm gonna blow up this door because it's unlocked why? And you can tell that's what somebody did because it's just some of these that are blown up and they were just blown up enough to where it would blow up the door and not the entire thing. So whoever's going around blowing up random traps, can you tell me why? Because that's kind of pointless. Hey, we found our first sheepdom. Get it? Because sheep victim? No? Okay, well, moving on. Oh, hey, there's somebody over here with a griffin. Wonder if it's worth me messing with them at all. I almost want to. Do I kill them? 
Wait, what? Oh, they're over there now. What the heck was that? All right, well, he stopped. I'm really sorry, everybody who is a, like, pacifist, but... Really sorry, buddy. Oh, yep, feel bad. And I feel even worse. Man, I was really hoping this guy had something good, because he's actually a decent level griffin. So, sorry, buddy. Dodo Rex. Really am. Oh, hang on. Found another griffin. Can't tell if this is a player or not. Oh, yeah, that is Dodo Rex. Oh, hey. He's uh, right there, the guy who I just killed. Also, apparently there's somebody in chat who actually watches my videos. I was telling the guy that, like, sorry, I, like, never kill people, and that you guys were all telling me, essentially, that I should. And this guy was like, love the vids when I said my tag. And yeah, so it's actually really awesome that some of you guys managed to, like, recognize me in-game. I do always go by green, so. Guy that I killed watching my videos, um... If you're watching this video, I'm sorry. But then again, I'm not sorry because it's PvP, and, um... That is PvP life. And you clearly have more griffins as you just flew by me with another one. And our griffin is finished taming. Okay, let's see what its stats came out to be. Alright, that health actually looks pretty good. The weight's alright, it's not too bad. It's about the same as my mana. The stamina doesn't seem too amazing, and neither does the melee. It looks like a lot of points went into food actually, so that's kind of disappointing. But it's alright. I'm actually really happy to have a griffin now. Now I can fly around and do so much more. I can do some actual picking. I can stand up on its back, then grapple something. Oh, this is going to be great. Alright, so now that we have our griffin tamed, let's go ahead and cryopod this puppy up. And let's go try to find something to raid. I really want to get a raid in on this video. We might also do some Prolovia hunting. That's why I have, like, the Parasaur and the Argent on me. So we'll see what we do. Okay, so I'm back in my base right now, and I really wanted to start recording real fast, because I just walked over to this fridge and opened it up, and suddenly there's new cryopods in here. Now, the reason I'm confused about this is because there's turrets outside with no bullets missing, and there's a turret behind me with no bullets missing. I did not put these here. I don't know where these came from, but I've never gotten a male WD-1 or this male Pteranodon. If somehow one of the viewers got into my base without letting any turrets off, feel free to let me know. I'd love to know how you did this because, um, yeah, these weren't here yesterday. So I guess thank you for two Pteranodons, whoever did that, somehow. But yeah, no, uh, while I'm here, I actually need to make a couple things. Right now I'm about to go over to Extinction as I really want to tame a Desert Titan, meaning I need to make a quick one by one. And yeah, the reason I want to tame a Desert Titan is actually because I found a base over on the center that I really want to raid, and I think I can do it with a Titan. It might be a little bit iffy as they do have tech turrets and heavy turrets. They also have Alanosaurs, but I think I can take care of those with the Titan before I even get shot by them. Uh, we'll play with a few things, we'll see if we can actually raid it or not, but got my one by one made. Oh wait, I need to make a roof, can't forget that. Okay, now I have my one by one made, so let's head on over to Extinction and get going. One more thing that I completely forgot, I need to get my Quetzal out. I think I'm ready to go now. So, well, if it works with this Quetzal, I'm sure that literally any of you guys can go out and tame yourself a Desert Titan. We'll see how well this works. I'm not actually sure if this has a good saddle on or not. It says it has 131 pounds on it, so I'm really confused by that because that's not physically possible, but I guess we'll see what's on it. Okay, so we are now over on Extinction. I've already kind of farmed up everything I need. I already had the 100 Corrupted Hearts and 10 Fire Talons here. Here, as I was kind of planning on doing this at some point in the future but I now have the Quetzal as you saw and the platform saddles plus the one by one we should be ready to go and actually tame this thing I do need to get the Sarko skin still but all those should actually be inside the cave if there's not then we can go find some some other places we might stop over here in the city on the way and yeah Let's just go get this done. Ooh, there's a Sako over here. Walla well, hello there, Sako. I thank you for your skin. Have a nice day. Alright, so we found a couple more Sarkos over here in this little ravine thing. I'm not really sure what you call this. But I'm just going to kill as many of these as I can while I'm over here. And then head over to the cave, because it's much easier just to get as many of these as possible over here instead of the cave. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place down my Quetzal up here and then start building the one by one. I also want to see why this has 131 pounds on it still. I'm really confused by that. 
All right, so probably just a glitch. They probably just had like a building on this before, but it already has a platform saddle on it. So, I mean, I guess I didn't have to waste stuff on that. Hey now, Carno, what are you doing? All right, so if you haven't watched my Titan Taming video yet, I do recommend you do that, but essentially all you have to do is take your foundation, try to get it as close to the edge right here as possible. Oh, it didn't place. There we go. Then we get our five walls. I know I just said five walls, but I meant three walls. I'm terribly sorry about that. Then we place ceiling, door frame, and door. Now we should be ready to tame it. Right here is the cave entrance. It's so easy to get through this cave, honestly. Just running straight through it, dodging all these lovely things. You can't dive, which is really annoying, but whatever. All right, and right here's the artifact, so close to just right where you tame everything. God, why did they make extinction so easy? Just right there's the artifact, go right over here, and here's the Desert Titan Terminal. All right, so now let's put all the artifacts in. I should just need these talons, that bangs, and yeah, that's everything I need. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to do this, honestly. Never done this with uh, such a bad Quetzal and Solo at that, so let's hope for the best here. Hey, we've been teleported. Where did my mana go? Um, Jesus Christ, mana armor, what are you doing over there? Note, if you ever go through that teleportation, just get on your mana armor so it doesn't fly away. Oh my god, that was so obnoxious. Okay, let's try to cry you up and get on our Quetzal. Where is this Titan at? Has it spawned yet? Okay, it's right over there. So, this shouldn't be too bad, as long as we don't sprint fly the entire time, I think we can make it. So, let's get under the wing. If you've never done this before, pretty much you just get on your Quetzal and try to stay under the node. The flock shouldn't be able to hit you, but sometimes it can, it's just kind of glitchy. But, as long as you have this box, you should be fine. Also, don't have a character that's max size like me and you're a lot less likely. Alright, so far so good. I. Th I think this one's going to break pretty soon. For some reason it retracted. I think I might have missed it once or twice. But it shouldn't reflect too much damage onto our team once it's done. I'm not sure how many shots it actually takes to take out a node. I'll have to figure that out a bit later and like calculate that. It's kind of hard to figure out because every once in a while you get a double zap. But then sometimes it's only a single zap and it's just kind of weird. Okay, and I got this wing all done. Cool. It should just do a flip here in a moment. There it goes. And now we have to get to the other side. Alright, so it just now started doing its lovely tail flips, as you'll probably see in just a moment. Let me get under its wing first, though. Now, the reason the tail flips are so bad is because each one of those smacks right there do a few thousand damage. So if you have a low-level Quetzal like I do, you don't want to be hit by a single one of those. I think it does about 2,000 damage per hit, so be very careful. Also, I just missed that lightning shot and dealt damage to the Titan. Remember to keep in mind, any damage dealt to the Titan does reflect onto the one that you tame, so try to avoid any damage possible if you're doing this for raiding. Alright, and we got the second wing down, just the back tail now. The tail is probably the hardest one to do just because, um, yeah, the tail whips are not fun. Alright, so if you ever do the tail, you have to sit right about here, but try not to get too close to it because whenever it sways its butt, there's a chance that you'll get stuck inside of the mesh of the Desert Titan. And if that happens, then you'll be hit by that tail whip, and that's the last thing that you want to do. And we have it down! Okay, let's just quickly claim this. Boom! We now have claimed our Desert Titan. Oh my god. Okay, I'm kind of stuck inside of it though. <laughs> let's just phase through our Quetzal, why don't we? Alright, there we go. Let's get this Desert Titan to follow us, and then let's go take it over to a terminal so we can actually get this puppy transferred. I cannot believe it was that easy to tame a Desert Titan solo. I didn't even have a good Quetzal there. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I've never actually, like, played as a Desert Titan other than in single player. This is kind of exciting, honestly. Oh man, I can't wait to go do this raid. So to any of you solo players out there, I hope this is kind of inspiration to you. I know a lot of people will contact me saying how they're solo players and that my series kind of, like, inspired them to play again. So I really hope this kind of shows you just how you really can do just about anything in ARC solo. 
you can go do pretty much any boss fight as long as you know the good strategy and yeah it's a lot of fun really i really really enjoy doing things solo it adds like an entire new dynamic to it to where you have to actually think about what you're doing and just everything about it is so much harder Okay, so we have 2 minutes and 50 seconds left on our timer, and then we can actually go ahead and transfer our Desert Titan. I need to get a little bit closer to the terminal, though. Is that good? Yes, it is, and we can actually do it right now. So let's press Upload Creature, and boom, we have a Desert Titan in our upload. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited to use this! Okay, so I've transferred on over to the server I need, and there's actually a drop right here, but I don't think I can get the Desert Titan out of it. So, the base I want to raid is right over here on the other side of this entrance, and right above. So I'm going to wait for this fog to go away to actually be able to see this and make sure they're still here. But with that little lag spike that just happened, I'm going to take a guess and say they are. Oh yeah, they're definitely still here. Okay, so the fog's cleared up quite a bit, so I'm going to show you kind of my battle plan. So right here, you can see there's a bunch of Velos. I'm just going to kind of lightning these guys off, because the lightning attack does cause knockback, and I'm pretty sure they'll just fly off. Same thing for all these ones up here, but my only problem is just how many tech turrets there are. I'm going to see if I can actually manage this with a Desert Titan. I think I can if I do it fast enough. The turrets aren't that powerful. As you can see, they only have 3,000 HP, so I think after a few bites, I can actually get in. It shouldn't be too big of a problem. They do have Desert Titan defenses, but um, they're behind the turret wall, so interesting choice. But anyway, we're going to see how well I can do with this. I'm raiding this solo, and they have like a turret wall of 50 tech turrets or so, I'd say. So this will be interesting. I've never done a solo player raid like this before. All right, well, this is just the perfect drop now, isn't it? It's just right in line with where I want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle my chat for this just so you guys can see what everyone in the game is saying, because that's always interesting to see. Now let's go Desert Titan and download. The Desert Titan started downloading. Unfortunately, the Desert Titan takes like 15 minutes to download, so I will see you guys after it is done. Also, Zoom says, well, hi there, YouTube. So, um, hey, Zoom, how's it going? Pretty sure that's how I pronounce your name. Sorry if it's not. Um, it's a bit too late. <laughs> and now he's just doing some beautiful advertisements. You know, I'll, I'll read off his lovely comments. I can't just, you know, I can't be mean. I've got to read off his comments, obviously. He says, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to be notified about new videos coming out. So there you go. That's what he said. It's not me. His words. Oh man, his head's coming through there. He's almost done downloading. Oh, I can't wait to use this. I've really never used the Desert Titan in PvP circumstances, so I'm really excited. And it is downloaded, oh my god, it's so glorious. Okay, let's try to get this thing somewhere where I can actually land on it. Come on, buddy. And I got on. Okay, now let's go over to this base and see what we can do. If I can't fully raid it, which might be possible, I at least want to reap some uh, pretty big havoc. So, <laughs> all those little tentacles in the bottom are just hilarious to stare at. But anyway, let's go see what we can do to this thing. The base should be right there. Let's wait for it to load in. Let's take our lightning strike, put it right there. See if we can't launch off some Velos. It's surprisingly quiet having a Desert Titan. It's kind of like concerning how quiet it is. All right, we're getting a couple of them off. Cool, this is actually working. Let's just keep doing this until we get even more. Hey, we got all those ones off, I think. Oh, no, there's a couple more left there, but a couple of them went flying so far. Okay, I kind of feel like that's about as good as I'm going to get with this. From now on, I'm going to just have to like charge straight on. Let's try to get a good angle on this. I need to try to get as many of these tech turrets as possible, because uh, that's all that really matters. So, let's just put that down, and then we're going to go up here and start biting away. I don't think I'm getting that much done. I got somebody's mana armor. Oh, I died! No! And my body's stuck floating in the air with a mana armor on it! Oh! My, it just didn't get far. Man, that was so close though, but I got some player's mana armor off them if I can get my body back. I'm not sure if I'll be able to though is the problem. And another problem is my mana armor is on there. 
So one way or another, I have to get that mana back. Oh man, that was a close one though. That was actually a lot of fun. My biggest problem with doing that is I couldn't really seem to get the bites right. I needed to hit hatch frames or turrets and I just wasn't getting them. I'm not sure if I actually broke that much. Let's see. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like I really broke anything at all. So that's kind of disappointing. All right, I'm over here where everything kind of happened and it looks like there's definitely some players. So let's just pick one. I missed. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Okay guys, well I'm gonna have to end the video here, so thank you so much for watching this. I know it's a bit of a longer video, but you guys have been requesting that I make longer videos for quite a while now, so I hope you enjoy the fact that this is about 20 minutes long. I know we didn't get too much done overall in terms of progression, but we did in the end have a griffin, and we killed another man of armor, so I mean, we're keeping up with that streak. But it was a lot of fun playing with the Desert Titan, I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think I should do next, and I will see you in the next video.